It's a huge win for the Unlock Our Vote campaign, a voting rights coalition fighting for equal access to the ballot this November, despite a person's criminal record history. So the ruling from the three judge panel um, stated that if you've had your probation extended only because of outstanding fines and fees issued by the court, that you are now allowed to vote. According to attorney Whitley Carpenter, tens of thousands of people are kept from voting simply because they cannot pay court fees. Uh, there's a $40 a month probation or supervision fee that people have to pay in addition to um, other fees that are issued by the courts. Um, the cost and fees in North Carolina's court system have increased by about 400 percent. And so not having money should never be a barrier to being able to cast a ballot. Although the recent ruling opens up the door dramatically to potential voters, Carpenter says while it's a step in the right direction, the fight for equal access is not over. However, we had other claims um, in the case as well um, with the Equal Protection Clause as well as the Free Elections Clause um, that were not decided by the court. Um, we will have to go to trial in order for the court to assess those claims. And they're not the only one trying to make a change in the court system. The Unlock or Vote campaign is also taking a grassroots approach. Um, we have, you know, an organizing team as well as a communications team who's working to, you know, shift the narrative and really bring the voices of people who are directly impacted by these laws to the front and center um, to understand that these are people in our communities and they really deserve the right to vote. The recent court ruling ensures that as many as 100,000 people who could not vote before can now vote this election season. In Pitt County, I'm Victoria Holmes, 9 on your side.